Hey guys, how y'all doing today? My name is Franchise Fanatic, and welcome back to the channel. And today we have for you guys to know the SpongeBob SquarePants video. I haven't done a SpongeBob video in quite a long time, but I think the last SpongeBob video I did was around the uh, probably the Battle for Bikini Bottom, or maybe the uh, next SpongeBob season 12. They still don't have season 13 on DVD, but we do have some new SpongeBob news. We have a new SpongeBob game coming out, apparently coming soon. Now, uh, when I was a kid, of course, I was huge into SpongeBob. I still am. I'm 22. I freaking love SpongeBob. It's, it's for all ages. It's not not just a kid show. We all know that it's for everyone. And uh, the movies are great. I didn't see the third one yet. Uh, the TV show is freaking fantastic. One of my favorite animated shows of all time. And of course, you know, just the memories of seeing it as a kid and playing all the games: Battle for Bikini Bottom, the PS2. Uh, when I was a kid, that was awesome. And of course, playing Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated on the PS4. A really great game. I think this is a fantastic remaster. THQ Nordic did a great job. It looks fantastic uh, on my base PS4. Really, really good. And uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it's a great remaster. It's a great rehydrated game. And, uh, you know, the original Battle for Bikini Bottom was such a great game. And this is such a great remaster. And I thought this was going to be it. But apparently THQ Nordic, uh, I'm looking at my phone here, reading an article. Uh, they announced a brand new SpongeBob game called SpongeBob SquarePants uh, The Cosmic Shake. Now, I'm not too uh, huge on the name. I don't really like the name, The Cosmic Shake. Sounds kind of weird, but whatever. Uh, basically, uh, apparently, uh, apparently to Polygon, uh, and again, you, know, you, know, you, can, you can find this everywhere, uh, SpongeBob bumbles through the multiverse in a brand new adventure game. So kind of like, uh, uh, I guess, Avengers Endgame, I guess Rick and Morty, if you watch that. Uh, SpongeBob and Patrick, kinda, I, I guess they're just going to be kind of going through different worlds, different multiverses, different kind of iterations and era of SpongeBob throughout the TV show and throughout the canon. Um, again, call it The Cosmic Shake. Developed by THQ Nordic, who of course did Battle for Bikini Bottom, uh, one, and the, uh, the 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 remaster. Uh, it was announced on Friday, so t uh, today it is Sunday, the nineteenth. Uh, it's coming soon. Apparently, we don't have a release date. You know, like Lego Star Wars is a spring twenty twenty two, or GTA Five Expanded has a uh, March twenty twenty two. This is just coming soon, and it will be coming to Nintendo Switch, PlayStation Four, Xbox One, and PC. Now, notice they did not say PS Five and Xbox Series X slash S. It's only, apparently as of right now, as far as I'm aware, only the base, older, you know, hardware iterations of, of Xbox and PlayStation. Which, look, it's a SpongeBob game. I have this one on my base PS4, uh, you know, 2013 hardware. This is a 20, uh, 2020 game, and it effing, it runs great, it looks great. You know, so I'm not saying, look, PS4 and Xbox One, they're well capable of, really, of, of, you know, playing uh, a lot of games. Cyberpunk, you know, that, that's a shit mess. But I think for, mo for the most part, there's a lot of games out there that are pretty good on these, you know, these, these consoles. And, uh, you know, maybe, if say, if I get the Xbox One version, I'll probably be able to play it on my Series X via backwards compatibility, right? Same with PS4. But in terms of, like, an actual uh, next, quote-unquote, next-gen release of the Cosmic Shake, I'm not sure if we're going to be getting that. Again, I'll update you uh, there. Of course, I, I you know if it, if it's not going to be horrible, if it runs like how Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated does, I'm going to buy it on PS4 uh, just because I, I, I could. But uh, of course, you guys know the Xbox Series X and me don't get along with uh, audio recording, and it's why I can't play most new games. That's why I'm playing like Lego Pirates. I'm gonna I might be playing COD World War II, that kind of stuff. Um, so you know, as far as consoles. Switch, PS4, Xbox One, PC. Again, not sure about next gen, but I think again it's a SpongeBob game. Uh, I'm not saying they're they're poorly made or they're dumb, but you know they're not as expansive as a Lego game or Assassin's Creed, you know stuff like that. Um, so essentially, the game follows SpongeBob and Patrick after two unintentionally open portals to other uh, universes. In the game, you'll be able to explore seven different worlds and dress your characters up with thirty different skins. So uh, yeah, seven unique worlds. I think in Battle for Bikini Bottom, the original. And there was a little bit of more new content in Rehydrated, but, uh, you know, I don't know how many worlds, maybe we got five or something like that, five or six. Um, Battle for Bikini Bottom was never an open world game, but it had uh, quote-unquote open hub worlds that you could retraverse, explore, play as Spongebob, Patrick, Sandy, right, and kind of explore these worlds. Goo Lagoon, uh, you know, the beach, a bunch of other places like that, Flying Dutchman's Graveyard, uh, Downtown Bikini Bottom, all that stuff, Spongebob's House. It was really quite an expansive game for a SpongeBob game, and I think uh, one of the reasons why Battle for Bikini Bottom is so loved is because it has kind of this massive, not open world, but you know, these bigger, 
uh, hub worlds, and then we get to uh, the Cosmic Shake, which is going to be having seven hub worlds, which again, if it's anything like Rehydrated, anything like this, I think we're going to be in for a really good treat. Again, Spongebob makes really good movies for the most part. I haven't seen Sponge on the run. Uh, the TV show is one of my favorite animated shows of all time. I loved it since I was a kid, and I love it as an adult. Um, I think the whole, oh, the only, the only good Spongebob is one through three, four through the rest can suck it. No. I love all Spongebob. I believe, just like Star Wars, all Spongebob is good. I love every season. I love every episode. Uh, you know, there's some I like better than others, but I'm not gonna, I'm not one of those Spongebob fans, fans, that's like, if you, if you like 4 through 12, you're a fake fan! You know, no, it's like, look, I love Spongebob, I love all Spongebob. This is a great video game, Battle for Bikini uh, Bottom. The rehydrated version is even freaking better, so to see that we're going to be getting the Cosmic Shake, a brand new Spongebob game from THQ Nordic, uh, with apparently, you know, seven hub worlds, 30 skins, kind of a really unique story within the Spongebob mythos, I think it's going to be a really good time. Again, coming to PS4, Xbox One, PC, and Nintendo Switch coming soon. Whenever we do get official news, I will be informing you guys on that. Uh, yeah, and I can't wait. I, I don't think I'm going to be able to play this for the channel because of the whole audio thing. Uh, I just kind of wanted to report on this because I know Spongebob fans are on the channel. And uh, yeah, you know, I love Spongebob. I really do. It's one of my favorite shows, one of my favorite franchises. And uh, seeing that this is getting a new game from the guys who made Battle for Bikini Bottom, I think it's a really good pairing. And hopefully, they knock it out of the park. Thank you guys, and we'll see you in the next video.